Now, when you moon to as you know, let's bring the conversation to us. Ghana and Nigeria. If Nigeria does it, we can also do it. You know, now, I am calling on the YouTubers. I am calling on the content creators and what we are a bit more million subscribers. I'm talking about Sweet Ajele. Sweet Ajele, you, I, 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 but I didn't know you were slacking. Obi a jiran and also four days here, no edwian here. Sweet Ajele can also do that. Hello, my sweets. Welcome back. Welcome back. I just want to apologize for the live video yesterday. It was a total mess i was um playing it back and the audio was just terrible and i don't know what happened i didn't do anything to it i just went live the way i usually do and everything was just messed up so i am back with my response to magraheb tv if you all don't know head to his channel page wherever you like to enjoy him at and see the video that i'm responding to if i post this i'm gonna uh, quickly grab that video and leave the link in the comment section for you all to go check out but first things first if you're on this live well it is no longer live but please don't forget to like share comment for your girl and if you're not subscribed or following me yet please do so now so that we can enjoy all the sweetie tin tins here together now before i go to my response to magra heb i want to give our beautiful sister hilda bassi a big two sis himo Sue, you did amazing. You are now a Guinness World Record holder. We are super proud of you. But girl, you need to be proud of your nation because they showed up and supported you. Now, up until uh, two or three days ago, I never heard of this young lady. All I saw was some of my fellow content creators sharing her link. I saw Ify and Gina, Foodie and Spice out there dancing. And I was like, what's going on? I thought somebody was opening a restaurant and they were out there promoting because we're foodies you know anything food we're there i later found out that you were trying to break a record and girl did you break it you sure did congratulations we love you we love you we love you now to my grahab so you know my channel eh? i have been waiting to see you on my channel and i didn't see you Mind you, I'm subscribed to you with my notification on. So whatever you post, I see it. When I saw that video though, I didn't think I was going to show up in it until I was watching. And here you were scrolling up and up and up and up. And you say I'm slacking. Well, let me remind you that less than a year ago, we'll say six months because it was in November. Your girl hit a million subscribers. My sweet team and I, we celebrated, okay? They were sharing, they were cheering, they were happy for me. I didn't see me on your channel or page. I didn't see you, where were you? I didn't see you cheering me on. You share some food content creators on your page. So it's not about a niche thing. You're not in my niche, but you do share. How come you never shared your girl? Are you not proud of the fact that this lady right here became the first woman, not a superstar, just a regular person, to hit a million subscribers on YouTube in Ghana? How is that even possible? I didn't even think that nobody was there yet. And only the second after Wood and Maya. And Wood and Maya made a post saying, welcome to the Million Club. You didn't welcome me. You didn't congratulate me. You didn't say anything. But here, you want me to go and cook for, what, five days? Okay, I'm going to accept the challenge on one condition. You are going to have to bring that carnival, like that Niger, our own Niger people brought.
Now, every time I make a video and I mention Nigeria, they usually think I'm here to bash them or talk down on them. But this time around, my people, Niger showed up for their girl. And I just want to let y'all know that we can bring Ghana on the map too by showing up for our content creators. As we speak, go over to a Nigerian content creator's page or channel. Notice how many likes, how many comments, how many shares they have going on there, whether positive or negative. Every type of engagement that you put under a Ghanaian post, help the post go further. So, here your girl hits a million. I didn't, you guys didn't even come under my post. Now, my girl, have you do know if you leave a comment on my page, you drive traffic to me, right? And we could do that for each other. But when I clearly see you sharing other food content creators and you leave me out, what's going on? They're paying you? Let me know. Okay, <laughs> and some people were thinking, I'm out here to fight you. No, you mentioned me on your page. That is a shout out for me. So it's good. So I'm mentioning you. I'm giving you a shout out right back. And just know that whenever something is going on, I kind of feel like you carry the truth. So I can see it somewhere, but I'll quickly type your name and watch it from you not only do you make it fun i kind of believe the content that you put out there i'm not saying that i don't believe other content creators but i i vibe with you you don't see me i don't see you but i love to watch you you're on my home tv you're in my phone everything okay so now that we have that straightened out you will be mentioning me i will be mentioning you we will be promoting each other because that's what we're supposed to do and i tell you all Ghanaians, we need to come together and push our own we need to come together because under the post uh that magraheb shared when, when after my live he shared the video one young lady said while your fellow woman is cooking for days you're here dancing really really you know, and then we have those that come and talk about my accent, that I have a fake accent, whatever, whatever. Ghanaians, I am an American. I am an American. I was born in Ghana. Yes, I'm an American citizen. But it's a blessing that when I fill out my forms and paperwork, I don't put African-American. I put Ghanaian American because I'm from Ghana. But I grew up here. I grew up here. Give me a break. You want to see me speak in my Ghanaian accent? You're not going to like it because it, to me, it sounds like comedy. I can't even speak that way. I can try, but it will be in and out. I don't even try to speak in the way that I do. But a lot of my Ghanaian brothers and sisters, they happen to stumble on my page and they immediately hear me speak and they want to judge me. They want to say how I'm trying so hard to speak. And I want to know, do I stutter in any way when I'm speaking? Do I make a lot of mistakes when I'm speaking? Let me tell you something. I was bullied for the way I speak when I first came to America. And now I'm being bullied on my social media platform for the way I speak. I do not have an American accent and I do not have a Ghanaian accent. I'm somewhere in the middle and that's where I find myself. And believe it or not, there are so many of us how do you expect me? I lived in Ghana until I turned 17 in April and then May I was here. So the whole 17 year I spent here in America. I've been here for 25 years. I lived in Ghana for 16 or 17 years, maybe. 
And that 17 years, the first five years, I wasn't even a person because I don't even know how I spoke then or what I did. But people, they like to judge you. They like to bring you down. One gentleman decided to insult me today because I'm saying um, Fufu is a gun food. He doesn't even know whether I live in Ghana or where I live. But he want to make a fool out of himself by insulting somebody that is old enough to be his mother. Social media, we are all here to learn. Now, it is up to you to choose to learn good or bad. I have never insulted anybody on social media. And God, I will never do that. Because we do not know what people are going through. We do not know what's going on in people's lives. Just because somebody breaks a record doesn't mean I have to run quickly and try to break it too. I'm supposed to be celebrating with her. I'm supposed to be happy with her. What would I be? What would I look like quickly setting up? I'm cooking for 24 days because somebody just did five days because I want to make a point. That is when we fall flat on our faces. Now, my plea to my Ghanaian people is that when you see our videos, if you want us to trend the way Niger trends, we may be winning the Jalof Rice War because we've won a couple of the competitions. But when it comes to the social media war, we are not even close. They support each other more than any other African country that I've seen out here on social media. As soon as their people post, Somebody can post something today that they posted a month ago. You go down there and they still have over 10,000 likes. They still have over 5,000 shares. They still have over 1,000 comments because they understand this social media. Nigeria has always been more popular than us, but we fight them. We, we, we want to be equal to their task. Their country is maybe five times bigger than ours. But we make it known that we are small but mighty because we always in their faces. And it's a rivalry that I don't see as hatred. I see as a very good sibling rivalry. We make them better, they make us better. But when it comes to social media, their music is trending, their videos are trending, they're doing so well. And that is because their people are liking it commenting and sharing and there are some Ghanaians out there liking their stuff commenting on their stuff and sharing on their stuff and I applaud you for that because on my page there are so many of them cheering me on they give me so much support so in saying this all that I'm saying is that today I'm trending and I know some of my sweet team members so want me to go out there and break that record. Maybe I would, maybe not, but I don't even think that now is the time. We shouldn't even make a fuss about it. Maybe other countries are, but if we want to do this, this lady was quiet about it until she did it. But we're here, we're going to beat them, we're going to beat them, and Ajili is trending for it. And I love the fact that I'm trending. But at the same time, we want to have healthy trends. And we want to do the right thing. Let's not take the attention away from our beautiful sister Hilda Bassey. Because she's done an amazing thing. And we need to go out there and celebrate with them. Because I always say this. That Ghana and Nigeria. Nigerians, they're moving to Ghana. They love Ghana. Those of us that have been to Nigeria before, we love it there. You know, and the Nigerians in Ghana, they love it. I work with some Nigerians when I'm in Ghana. I have Nigerian friends. So we can, you know, fight all we want, but we love each other. I've never seen Nigerian Jalof versus Togo Jalof. Now, trust me, Togolese, they have Jalof too. It's always Ghana and Nigeria. And that's because we love each other. Those that think it's a fight, they have a problem. Because I see it as all fun and games. 
The only thing I don't like is how at times Nigerians will insult our food. But that is because they're telling me that Ghanaians are under Nigerian videos insulting them. So then even though I'm not there insulting anybody, they come and take it out on me because I'm the one that they could take it out on. Because if you don't have a platform and you insult somebody about their culture and their food, they look for somebody that is exhibiting your culture and your food and they download on that person. And I get that a lot. But at the end of the day, it is the love of nation and it is the love of continent. Okay? We are Africans. We just have to push and love each other. And yeah, maybe today or tomorrow, we will break Hilda's record. It may be me. It may be somebody that's coming after me. But I'm not going to quickly run before my shadow to try to do something that I don't know how this girl planned. Again, Magra Hep, you said we're going to do this in December, right? Okay, you know I'm not in Ghana. So you're going to find a way to get me to Ghana and you're going to have a carnival out there. And we better have double the amount of people that were there. When this girl got tired, her people started praying for her to make sure that she would be strong. Oh my God, Naija. Naija, you people outdid yourself. You people have outdone yourselves. You did it. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud to be African. Very proud to be West African. We're all one people. We can fight all we want, but let's make it healthy. Let's not insult each other. Because you insult me today, I may be the one that have to help you tomorrow. And vice versa. You may be my helper. That help that I'm waiting for, that I'm needing. So yeah, continue to pray for me. Continue to support me. Continue to love me. All those that shared me and appreciated me when I hit my million milestone. I will never forget you guys. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I have my million play button. And the next video that I'll make... I'll be sure to share it with you all. Because when I got my 100,000, I was going through it. So I didn't share. It is my time to share. Okay? But for now, let's allow our sister Hilda to enjoy her time. Oh, my Grahib, what do you say? Over to you. You can respond and we'll go back and forth, back and forth. You know? I love you so much. I appreciate you shouting me out. Now, I'm waiting for Zion Felix. I'm waiting for Ameyao Debra. I'm waiting for some of the big, big stars in Ghana. I'm going to meet Nanama Mag Brown. Whether I like it or not, I have to meet that lady. I am in love with her. And one day, I may just meet her. So if you see this video and you watch it to this point, share it. Tell Nanama Mag Brown that Sweet Ajele is looking for her. That's hmm. All right, y'all. Until I see you in my next one, stay safe. Keep loving each other. It's all love. Don't think I'm fighting Maghreb. Don't think I'm fighting Ghanaians. All I'm saying is that if we want to be where Nigerians are, we need to up our game and we need to start sharing, sharing, and sharing. If you see a Ghanaian content that makes sense, not the insults, share it. Okay? Share it. I love you all.